subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can enable two factor authentication on your instagram account so let's begin the video so before i begin to show you how you can enable two factor authentication let me tell you why it is important so yesterday i got an email from instagram that my account was logged in from some i country i don't know uh, from some any other device so i know that i didn't log in from there but anyone uh, just hacked my account using my password because i didn't had two factor authentication and that's why they got logged in but anyways i got them logged out from my device and reset in my password but the main thing is that if i have set it up two factor authentication then this wouldn't have occurred probably so basically in two factor authentication you're just simply going to get a sms on your registered mobile number that you need to enter that code in order to log in on instagram account and once you log into a device you can save it as your friendly devices and it won't ask for the sms again so let's begin so first of all we're going to open instagram so here what you're going to do is you're simply going to open your profile which is at the lower right side so it's loading up <clears throat> so once you are in on your profile you need to go on the top right side where you see these three lines you're going to press on it you're going to go to settings and from settings you need to go to the security tab here you can see it says two factor authentication so we're going to press on two factor authentication so it's saying that you can add an extra security layer obviously we know that so we're going to press on get started so there are two ways that you can enable two-factor authentication one is by downloading another app which will be recommended by instagram or you can get a text message whenever you're going to log in from a new or an unrecognized device so i usually use the text message feature because it is quite better uh, again it's personal preference you can also download the app if you want but i am going to stick with the text message so we're going to enable the text message and it's going to open the next page so here it's going to say enter code <clears throat> so here is the code that i received so if you haven't entered uh, your phone number on your instagram account then you're not going to directly get this window instead you're going to uh, first of all add your mobile number then when you're going to press on next then you're going to get this page and your code and guys uh, for some reason if you have a wrong or a old phone number which you don't use anymore you can press on this change phone number button from here and you can change your phone number so anyways once you enter the code that you received from your sms or message you're going to type it and you're going to press on next from here so you can see two factor authentication is on we are going to press on next so here it's going to open a page called backup so it's going to show us backup code so these are uh, one two three four five in total so uh, these backup codes will help you if for some reason you lost your phone or you don't have uh, your phone number and you cannot uh, log in your uh, into your account from a new device uh, so then these backup pins can be helpful you can type these backup pins if you don't have the code so the best thing you can do is to take a screenshot and write them somewhere or say just save them in your gallery but i don't recommend saving them in your gallery because anyone can see them so i would recommend writing them somewhere safe anyways you're going to just press on done from here and here you go so now two-factor authentication is enabled on your instagram account so guys in this way how you can do this so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider doing so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe